Welcome to uh, Evening Prayer. It's Friday the 11th of March. Lord Jesus Christ, at evening time we come to you. Perhaps we're exhausted from the day, or perhaps we're just pleasantly tired. We come to rest in you perhaps because we are weary, perhaps because we are content. We lean against you, as John did at the Last Supper, knowing that that's where true love is found. Jesus cares for us. He doesn't tell us off for the things we haven't done today, the, uh, the mistakes we've made, and he knows those all. He just asks us to be still with him, not to strive and not to fret, just to be ourselves, the ones he made and loves. And as we rest in that presence and leaning against his strength, we know that we are not the people we should be. We know that things have been wrong, that we are wrong sometimes. But we know still also that we are held by his love. He's never far away from those who are hurting and those who are striving. And so, at the end of this week, really, the working week, we come and say, thank you, God. Hold us again. Praise you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm going to see um, uh, a little clip from the film The Miracle Maker. So it's a dramatic rendering, but very, very faithful to the, the text. So the text, if you want to follow it, is in Matthew 9, 18 to 26. Uh, Mark gospel mark's gospel does a, a longer version of this a more sort of fleshed out dramatic version but but matthew truncates it slightly but this is a story of um a little girl who's very ill and an interruption uh, along the way so here we are in matthew 9 18 to 26 from the miracle maker must see it's gyrus gyrus it's the leader of the synagogue master master Master, my little girl, she's dying. Please, if you come now to my house and lay your hands on her, she will be healed. Yes, I will. I will come. Oh, oh thank you. This way, not far. It's not far. Oh. Who touched me? Please, Master. S someone touched me just now. Lord, everyone's touching you. Look at the crowds. I know, I know. Someone touched me. I felt the power go out of me. It was me, Lord. I was bleeding inside me. So many years. The doctors did nothing. I... I was afraid to come to you before all the people. So I... I just wanted to... I wanted to touch you. 
My daughter, <laughs> your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Master, please, please hurry. <laughs> No! Sir, don't, don't trouble the master anymore. Oh. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Keep on believing. And she... will be well. Hungry. Fetch her something to eat. When I was young, one of my very favourite programmes, I don't know what I was a teenager or something then, was UFO. Anybody remember that? They still show it, you know, on Forces TV. Um, and there was a most distressing episode for a young person where the, uh, the commander of the... Um, outfit that combats the aliens he has a son who's very very ill and uh, he has a dilemma about whether this aircraft that's carrying the life-saving drug to his son in hospital whether he diverts it to to you know head off a ufo attack and he and amazingly he chooses that and his son dies and this kind of interruption to the process of this boy's healing is but because they have to go somewhere else and, and do something and it's tragic <laughs> you're sort of left in tears at the end of this program and you're only young it, a strange sort of thing is happening in a similar way in this story of Jairus's daughter that um jesus is being urged on please please come to my daughter she's very ill and we see in the film she is dying and uh, then this other woman interrupts as kind of a thing that stalls Jesus. And it, it, he's not the kind of person like I would be. Oh, no, sorry, I'm on my way. Uh, you know, I don't bother me. I've got lots of things to do. He, he does stop and he takes time with her, not just to heal her, let her be healed rather, but, but to talk to her. And so as a result, Jairus's daughter is dead. And they say in the Gospels, I don't know if it's in Matthew's, but certainly in Mark's, don't bother the teacher anymore. And there's that lovely phrase, certainly in Mark's version, where he says, but ignoring what they said. That's, that's just a great line where Jesus said, well, <laughs> but she's dead, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, but ignoring what they said to him, he went on and then she is healed. And it, I think it's a difficult question being posed for, for me. Sometimes Jesus is late, isn't he? And maybe you feel, I don't mean that, by the way, in, in a disrespectful way. I mean, by our timings, he's late. Like, like with Lazarus, you know, in that story, he, he delays. And uh, there may be th things in, in your life, maybe you're still going through them, where you think, well, where is he? Why did he not turn up then? And what I want to hold up before you, and it's a, a, as an article of faith, I don't, now I can prove this to you, is Jesus will turn up and he is never too late. My mum used to see a doctor, she's a lovely doctor, a member of the church too, and she used to take so long over the patients. <laughs> and so everybody's really, really delayed, but people would always wait there patiently uh, for half an hour, 45 minutes past their appointment time because they knew that when they got in, she gave them time. So Jesus might be delayed in that sense, in our sense. But when he comes, he will make things right. We may want to say to him, why were you not here, Lord? He will come. 
Let's pray. Tonight, Lord, I want to pray for those who are waiting, waiting for an answer, waiting for an appointment, waiting for judgment, waiting for a friend. And even those, Lord, who feel it's past the waiting time, that you are too late. We may feel that on the national or even international scene. Well, that horse has bolted. That's far too late now. Lord, history tells us, late in time, behold him come. And so help us to trust in you today. Help us to know you to really know you, to live in you. Thank you, Jesus, for your power and your ways. And we finish our prayers tonight by saying the family prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. going to finish with another Graham Kendrick song one of my favorites this and it says in the chorus no one who looks to you shall ever be put to shame that's why my hope is on you Lord so we're going to listen to this to you O Lord and uh, I'll see you again tomorrow so good night to you O Lord I lift up my soul in you I trust, O oh my God. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. Show me your ways and teach me your paths, guide me in truth. Lead me on, for you're my God, you are my Savior, my hope is in you each moment of the day. No one whose hope is in you will ever be put to shame, that's why my eyes are on you. Oh
See you.